Hi everyone, this is Micro K on the behalf of Extreme Excel. Today, I am going to tell you a couple of tips and tricks for formatting of your reports. If you are a regular user of Excel, then uh, you must be seeing a couple of reports uh, regularly and you uh, m probably will be formatting those every day and spending a lot of time in that. So, I'll be showing you a couple of tricks by which you can ready format your reports quickly. So, for example, mm, I have this report and I want to highlight all the cells which is having number and which is equal to 1 and I want to make the cell color to uh, blue let's say or green let's say. So that is very simple. You can simply select the range and go to conditional formatting and put a rule there that I want to format the cells which contain the value which is equal to 1 and I want to change its format and fill its background with a green color or if I want to choose a, a border or change the font I can do that as well so that this was very straightforward right but if I uh, so for example I have couple uh, I have listed a couple of tasks here then that if I ask you to change the color of all the nil values then you can insert in the rule and change the color of nil values to red this is pretty straightforward when you do it with uh, conditional formatting but now uh, suppose uh, there comes a situation where you want to count all the cells which are having value is equal to 1 so again you can type your formulas you can use count ifs and uh, there are other ways as well uh, by which you can count all the cells right so this problem is still doable using formulas but now let's say you got uh, a situation where you need to change the color of all the nil values to red if it is in a plan so for example if I tell you about the report so the report is having couple of categories and they have their plant values and their actual value so this is category 2 the plant value actual value and similarly it follows now I want to change the color of all the nil values to red if it is in a plan okay and I want to set the color to blue if it is in actual values so here the conditional formatting or our regular formulas won't work well right because conditional formatting will won't uh, care whether it is in the row of plan uh, or, or it's a actual value right so VBA is really a quick and easy solution for such pro problems let's see how to make it to make the report more beautiful so, so first of all I'm going to clear all the rules from the sheet and let's say I want to make this report a bit beautiful so I go to VB editor and I will first of all change the color of entire rows to green only their planned and actual values and then followed by that I'll make the required changes which I have listed in the fourth point first of all I'm going to change the color of these cells to green so this is very easy if we do it using VBA go to editor now you see that your data starts from fifth row because you only want to help, uh, change the color of these rows right uh, and you want to move till 46th row right so I am moving row by row so for i is equal to fifth row and move till 46th row then I will scan each column so if when I am in fifth row I need to scan each column or 
or I can simply change the color by using range function. So for fifth row, just go to range column A or, or don't change the color of column A. Start from column B and B1, uh, B5, B5 to B H5. Change the color of B5 to H5 uh, to green, right? So when I will be 6 uh, and when I'm talk talking about 6th row, then again it will change the color of 5th row because if I hard coded something like this, then that won't make sense. So I need to make it variable with the counter. So range P and I to H I dot interior dot color index is equal to fifty five. Yes. So 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 to make it simple, if 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 it if I only wanted to rem, uh, change the color of fifth row, then I would have written it like this: b5 till h5 dot, and then same thing: interior dot color index is equal to 55. Now you can compare these two. That I I don't want to make it static. The n the number five, which is the row number. I have controlled it with the counter, so I simply replaced this 5 with the counter i and I concatenated this with and right now I want to make sure that it only changes the color of the rows which have uh, the value uh, which have uh, uh, in first column plan or actual right otherwise it should not do anything to that row because if if this is blank or if this is some some category then don't make any change to that row right so i will put a condition here that if cells row index is i and column index is first column because i want to check uh, only about the first column if cells i comma one dot value is equal to plan or or if it is actual then some syntax error okay I missed this double quote only then change the color otherwise skip it Right, so if you run this, you'll see that it will change the color. Oh, I don't, I didn't put the right color index, so you can refer any color index uh, website to see what is the color index or for for green color. So let me quickly to hit and trial. All right, all right, let's make it yellow. Fine. So. So we have changed the color of all these cells to yellow, right? Now I want to do this thing. I want to change the color of all nil values to red if it is in plan, right? So I'll make another condition here. That first of all do this thing and then do one more thing. Mm, now, 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 now. I'm on fifth row, right? And if I delete this program as of now so that to, it do not create any confusion, I'm on fifth row, then scan each and every column of it. So to scan each and every column, I'll um, create another loop for columns. For C is equal to, I want to start from second column and move till third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth column. To eight. Right, so this will repeat my process for 
all the rows and in, for every row it will it will check each and every column so i'm scanning each each cell of the sheet between these two rows and between these two columns okay and i want to check if the value of this, this row which is i and this column if the value is equal to null and i want to make sure if the if it is of row uh, which is having the values of plan i mean which which if it is in plan uh, values then only change its color to red so i'll check its first value cells i throw first column if this is plan then only if this condition meets then change the color to something and if it is not if it is an actual then change color to something else okay so I'm putting the condition that cells I throw see a column dot interior dot color index change it to let's say four and if it is not true go to its else part right and check if so i'm copying this condition if row i comma c value is null and if it comes under actual values then change the color index to something else let's let's say i put 10 here right so this will do the thing right so all the plant values have light green and all the actual values which are null have dark greens pretty straightforward right so similarly i can put multiple rules and i can control them using vba now if i need to do the same thing for thousands of rows i just need to replace this number right and this will work i can also make it dynamic by counting the number of records uh, at the runtime when my program runs so that is also doable so i won't be having any dependency on updating the script every time and it will always uh, count the uh, make the uh, make sure that the count is correct and it will automatically process the report clear so this was a couple of tricks about formatting of uh, excel sheets Keep watching our upcoming videos to learn more about uh, these formatting tricks and tricks. Goodbye. See ya. Thank you for watching this video on our channel. Goodbye.